Hello, and welcome to the section of the Differential Equations Tutor. Uh, in this section, we're going to continue where we left off in the last section in solving these non-homogeneous linear ordinary differential equations with constant coefficients. Uh, and we're going to use the annihilator method, or also it's called the method of undetermined coefficients. So the last section, mainly just did one problem to illustrate what we're doing. We took it step by step. We took it very, very slow, so you could really see the logic. Here we're just going to continue working problems. I'm definitely going to show you all the steps, but we're going to pick up the pace just a little bit so that uh, you can really kind of look at the big picture and get that practice, you know, so you can work it as you would on a typical test without quite so much elaboration along the way. So this problem that we have here is really not any harder than the last one we did. It's just a little bit different. Let's say we have a second derivative, 2 times the first derivative, operating on some function x of t. That's what we're trying to find is equal to 5 plus t. This is the differential equation we want to solve. Now we notice it's non-homogeneous because we have a non-zero guy on this side of the equal sign. So we'll label this n in parentheses, which means a non-homogeneous. All right. Now the first thing we do, we talked about this in the last section, the very first thing we do is we take away what's on the right-hand side of the equal sign, make it homogeneous, and find the homogeneous solution because that's going to be a big part of the final answer. So let's do that. What we're going to define is the related homogeneous differential equation, which will be, in this case, d squared plus 2d plus 1 operating on x is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, this is just a differential equation, constant coefficients, homogeneous, so we know how to do that. We just rewrite it in terms of this little polynomial, r squared plus 2r plus 1 equals 0. We can easily factor this. We'll have r, we'll have r, we'll have 1, we'll have 1, we'll have plus, we'll have plus. That's pretty simple, right? Just factors this guy. So what we find from this is that uh, r is equal to uh, negative 1 and r is equal to negative 1. So in other words, the multiplicity is 2. So the root is a double root. The root is r is equal to negative 1, multiplicity of 2. So this is enough information by ourself to, by itself, to calculate and to write down the solution to the related homogeneous guy. So we label that, to keep it all clear, we label it h of, let me take away this guy, we label it h of t. This is the uh, solution to the homogeneous version, the related homogeneous guy. So it's going to be c1 times e to the negative t, negative coming from the negative 1, plus constant 2 times t times e to the negative t. The negative 1 is from the same place. So this is the form of the solution. The t comes from the fact that it's a double root. All right, so we're, we're really making good progress. You see, not too many lines of work. We take the original equation, we throw away the right-hand side, we solve it. This guy is going to be about half of the final answer. Now, the next thing we want to do, we have to you know, realize what we're trying to do. The final solution, x of t, what we're trying to find, is going to be the solution to the homogeneous version, h of t, plus some particular solution. Now, we already have h of t, so we have about half of the answer. We need to find p of t. p of t is just some, that's why it's called particular, it's just some function, any function, that satisfies the original differential equation, right? So it takes into account the forcing function on the right-hand side. So we're going to use our annihilator method to do that. So before we can actually do it, we need to find an annihilator. I'm going to call it a of d, which means it just means some derivatives. That's all it means um, for e of t. In this case.